this is our weekend. The van not turning on. No vacation for overnight. No vacation. All right, well, we'll just do two day trips. It'll be great. Yesterday, the Cascades, it was rainy AF. It's raining so hard. I have no idea what we're going to be able to get into. It's not raining that hard. It's just really wet. That's true. Today, it cleared up. So we decided just to have a little picnic hike or lunch. Okay. I'm basically Pouring in here. Probably shouldn't hold it on my hand. Ow. Ow. A little Ow. warm. It was boiling water, so that was my bad. Hey guys, my name is Shayla. I just hit my chin when I did that. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and this Wednesday I am in Washington where we will be for the next four weeks. I make these videos every Wednesday to inspire you and encourage you to create the life that you want. So really think about what you want. If that means full time travel, cool. If that means starting a family, awesome. If that means Joining your local CrossFit gym, do that. Just do something to spice up your life. If you're into that, please subscribe. If you wanna see Between Every Wednesday, please follow me on Instagram. It's living on a one way. This week we partnered with Backcountry. And if you guys are headed out on a camping trip or an outdoorsy trip, check out Backcountry. They have everything that you could possibly need. Everything that was in the video will be in the description below. So if you're interested in the jet boil or the solar panel or our jackets or anything, that will be below. It was initially a vancation video where we go on a vacation in my van. And it quickly turned into a video more talking about how to roll with the punches. From traveling and knowing that whenever you plan a trip, whenever you plan an event, whenever you plan something, there are bound to be things that go wrong. When we went out to the van to head out on our trip, the van didn't start. Either let that completely destroy everything or you roll with the punches. Okay, well let's take the Jeep and do two day trips, it'll be great. The scenery was beautiful. And then we did something that I absolutely loved. A jet boil picnic, meaning we hiked out to this cute little spot with this cute little view, took our jet boil with us and our little pre-made foods and had like this picnic out there and it was so wonderful. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and I hope you enjoy, Mwah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you a morning person or are you not a morning person? Seth is a morning person in the sense that he likes to wake up early. Let's rage! That was aggressive. I'm a morning person. Once my feet hit the ground, I want to just talk. Seth likes and just be silent for a while, which is great too. We partnered with Backcountry to do this video, to go on an adventure in the Pacific Northwest. Headed out to Lake and Hike. When we woke up this morning, Seth goes, it's snowing in the Cascades, which is where Lake Anne is. All right, well, Let's go try and check it out anyway. That's the mission for today. What just happened? I missed the exit. <laughs> Get the stash. Ew. I'm pretty new to hiking. Seth has done it a lot with like just, he lived in Colorado and in the military or whatever, so he knows like the things that you need. I'm like, I just really like a headband because then my head can breathe, but my ears stay warm. And he's like, we need a first aid kit. Right off the road. What's up, handsome man? Pro tip. We've got service right now, but it's possible that we're about to lose service. So I'm downloading an offline map on Google Maps so that even if we do lose service, we can still get to where we need to go. Other pro tip, always have what snack. Dinosaur. Taking a quick pit stop because um it's beautiful. We never get videos of us. So here's a video. So here's a video of us together. Walking down the trees <laughs> together in the rain, stepping in piles of dirt together. Yeah. We made it as far as we can go. Right here, this is where it stops. Now we're gonna go find a new adventure. Everybody keeps asking for these on-the-go vlogs where we're literally vlogging while we're doing stuff, but the reason why they're so hard is because the place that we were trying to get to is closed, so now we're trying to find something else. We came to a T in the road where we need to take a left, and we're like, no, let's go right. We just kind of go wherever it feels right. It's really important to be with somebody who also likes to make those choices because I have been traveling with people. It doesn't matter if there are unicorns and rainbows to the right, the left is the way that we're headed. Sometimes I think that the fog kind of like add something instead of hide stuff. It like makes it look more mystical. It's a ominous. We're getting a shot of us together. 
earth and also look at all the trees above us. Holy smokes, people. Seth thinks that's where Bigfoot is. I don't think he's like right there, but I'm just saying he's in the area. <laughs> Seth, how far can I go without you freaking out? <laughs> okay, so there's the dam. And there's signs all along this, cause this is like a big river or whatever. And so there's signs all along this to say like, at any moment, this will open and this will all fill with water. So don't be Shayla and go hike down in there. That's all. Get off that ledge. It's not really a ledge. It is. It's kind of a ledge. <laughs> Whoa. Imagine jumping off of that peak right there. Uh, no. Nope. Jump off that peak and then Beep. into the water. I cannot. Yeah. We are on our way up to Thornton Trail. We tried to get to another hike called Thornton Trail, but by the time we got there, it was too dark, too rainy, too long to do. That's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. So we're just gonna chill. We're gonna go to the brewery tonight. And then tomorrow, Seth is gonna show me how to work the- Jet boil. Jet boil. It's pretty simple. We got a couple meals, some uh, MREs. No, but nobody wants MREs. Whatever I got is not an MRE. It's from backcountry and it's- Dehydrated food. Yeah, but it looks good. Yesterday it was raining and we decided to call it basically so that we could go out today and do a little, what's my hair look like? It looks like two horns, doesn't it? Looks good. Thanks. Today we were gonna do a little beach lunch thing, but there's all these seals and Seth wants to try and get some shots, so I figured we would try out the jet boil. weekend. We started off the van not turning on. So no vancation for overnight. No vancation. All right, well, we'll just do two day trips. It'll be great. Yesterday we went out to the Cascades and it was rainy AF. Today it cleared up and we went to Deception Pass. And I'm just grateful that we live here and these things are within like an hour or two. This one is within like 30 minutes. So we decided just to have a little picnic hiker lunch. We've got this, no idea how to pronounce it. Bimbap. Uh, bibimap. Bibimap. Get some of that bibimap. But it's vegan, and Seth is like, oh, good. Wow. I didn't, I didn't get vegan intentionally, but I can't have dairy. I figured if I went vegan, at least there wouldn't be dairy. So we're just gonna have lunch out here in Deception Pass. So will you explain what you just did real quick? This is a stand. Yep. It goes on the bottom of your fuel source. Yep. This, this is a little mini propane tank. You had to buy it separately. This comes with it. Those people down there don't come with it. So I'm gonna keep doing this awkwardly. Gonna wait till they leave? I don't give a <laughs> If they want a, a tutorial on jet boil, they can come on up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so yeah, <laughs> this comes with it. This doesn't come with it, so yep. you have to get that. And there's bigger ones, smaller ones. I like this size because it packs easy. Here's your little igniter system. I mean, this is what produces the flame. Make sure this valve is closed. You can kind of see the plus and the minus sign uh, there. Yep. That's it. And mm -hmm. then here's your little stove top. Okay, so show us how to start it. Okay, so you're gonna give it a little bit of gas. Boom, there's a little bit oh, of gas. Oh, gross. Yep, it's a lot. And then you're gonna push this button right here. So now you have flames. Whoa. There's a lot of flames. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. Tear this pouch open and remove Stop it. <laughs> Tear the pouch open. Oxygen absorber, you don't want to cook that in your meal. Just add a little less than two cups of boiling, yes, boiling water to the bag. So we have to boil the water first. So we probably should have read this first. <laughs> okay, so we need to boil water first. Yep. Which we do in our cup. Two cups, Seth, measure it out. I'm winging it. All right, so two cups. So now it's locked in. So you pop it and lock it. So we're gonna turn it on. Hit the switch. Do you see fire? No. Yep, fire. fire. Yep. So we're gonna let this boil. 
one other thing that you want to make sure is that you're not in a super windy area or else your flame's going to blow out and then you're just going to be sniffing propane all day. Ooh, it's starting to boil. It's already starting to boil. Good. It's literally been going for like two seconds and it's already boiling. Like, it's about to splash out boiling. Seth, Seth. Okay, put the top on. Here. So it's boiling right now. Yeah. The top. That went so fast. Yeah, it's quick. So fast. That's why it's a jet boil. It is two cups. You put it in perfectly two cups. I told you. All I have to do is wing it. Did you see the line on the inside? I didn't. Okay. Uh, I'm basically pouring in pro. here. Probably shouldn't hold it on my hand. Ow. Ow. It's a little Ow. warm. Well, it was boiling water, so that was my bad. <laughs> Maybe set it down first. You'll stir it, you'll reseal it, you'll hang out for about 20 minutes. Yes, it tells you to hang out for 20 minutes. It says, think about how big the universe is. You can tell some backpackers invented this. Usually it just says, wait. Think about how we took the best spot on this hike. And, and everybody wants it. Right now. They all keep looking at me like I'm an asshole. Now we're about to hang out for 20 minutes. What I'm finding is that it makes like a really nice warm water bag. So it's a little bit hot, but if you like set it between you and some clothing, it's gonna keep you nice and toasty. Kinda wanna put it in my jacket. Can I go in your jacket? What? What are you doing? Stirring it up. It actually looks really freaking delicious. It smells kinda good actually. I had my reservations, I had my doubts. Yeah. But it already smells 10 times better than any MRE I've ever eaten in my life. It's not comparable to an MRE. This is a real good meal. Ooh. Is it good? Yeah, you're Let's good. See it. it basically was super watery. Probably could cook a little longer, but yeah. I'm getting hungry, so. And they've got mushrooms in here, spinach, and it's a little spicy, which is so good. It's, it's a two-person meal. Yes to the jet boil thing? Yeah, I'm super stoked about this. Water boiled so fast. So nice. I didn't really realize how easy that was. Thanks for showing me the way, Seth. And I'm so excited about these. So Seth has been looking for something like this. We have a Goal Zero, like, what'd you call it? It's like a charging bank. Yeah, but it's big and it goes in the van. You charge but it up and it holds a charge. This I wanted because we could just stick this in the window and it can always just kind of be charged because when we travel around, we're always bringing the thing in to charge at people's houses, which is fine. But this will just keep it charged always. But we also got this little charging bank and this also charges with this. So Seth can throw this on his backpack on a hike and it can like soak up all the sun while it's charging this inside. And I don't know how many- You'd be able to charge your phone like four times off of that. Oh really? Yeah. Or heard. your camera because our yeah. cameras were dead. Burp. This is called Goal Zero Nomad 14 Plus. And on Backcountry's website, they have something called, I can't remember what the exact term is, but I just got on a chat with one of them and I was like, look, I've got this Goal Zero. Which one of the, the solar charges is gonna charge it? She said this one. I saw that this was also compatible because I love traveling with these. And this is pretty light to carry on your backpack, don't you think? Yeah. The moment of truth. Wanna squat down so you don't, you're not so backlit. Nope. Could've cooked a little longer, but. <laughs> we did stop a little early, I was hungry. We're impatient. Yeah. It's really good. Actually. Why do you say that? Because it's kind of crunchy? Yeah, it, the rice is kind of crunchy. Whoops. But it does have a little bit of kick to it, which is, I like spicy food. Yeah. I never have much faith in these things. Like, I wanted the jet boil because it's dope. Like, when you cook while you're on the go. The uh, solar power is awesome. I don't know. I feel like if you can, if you don't need electricity and you can charge your stuff, like, that's a win win. So I hope that kind of shows, like, when the van breaks down, it can either ruin your entire weekend or you can say, what's our next option and do that. Or when your hike is closed, you can say, what's our next option and do that and find the silver lining of like, these new jet boil picnic dates are might be my new favorite thing. I would love to hear a story where you had something 
go wrong and you made the best out of it. If you guys are headed out on a camping trip or an outdoorsy trip, check out Backcountry. They have everything that you could possibly need. Everything that was in the video will be in the description below. So if you're interested in the jet boil or the solar panel or our jackets or anything, that will be below. The other thing is we haven't used the solar panels enough. So a few people were asking like how shady can it be, da 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 da. I'm not sure because we haven't used it enough, so I'll try and do another video in a couple of months after we've used it a bit. Thank you, Backcountry, so much for sponsoring this video. I will see you all next week, unless you follow me on Instagram. There's no bonus footage this week because the whole thing was like a bet behind the scenes. Now you're all gonna ask what's wrong with the van. There was a rotor cap that needed to be replaced. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.